Hey Scorpio, it's Dana, Deep Thoughts with Dana, doing a one-on-one, -on -one, right? I did it for Taurus and everybody seems to absolutely love it, so I'm going to do it for every sign, at least this go-round, and then I'll decide if I want to keep doing it or not because it makes me highly uncomfortable, don't like it, it slows me down, and I feel weird. So, Anyway, this is a, uh, if you're new to this channel video here, this isn't normal, okay? It's usually just the cards in my hands that you're looking at. So this is weird for me, and like I said, it kind of slows me down a little bit. So this is a general reading for the sign of Scorpio. If you have Scorpio anywhere in your chart, this reading may resonate with you. If you don't have Scorpio in your chart, this reading may still resonate with you. And if the reading doesn't resonate with you at all, leave it on the shelf and walk away. Okay. It's not your reading. Just walk away. Don't try to make it fit. Don't think anything bad's coming into your life. Just, just not that this is a bad reading, but just leave it alone. Okay. All right. If you want a reading with me, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. There's a link in the box below. There's also a link in the box below to a video that I did. It's more of an audio than it is a video, although it does have some graphics in it, some images. But um, I did a video about how to create abundance in your life by following the lessons of the tarot. And I put out part one the other day. That's the link in the box below, and it covers the major arcana, okay? It's really good. Even my mom, who is a strict Southern Baptist, who doesn't really jive with anything that I do, I sent it to her, and she listened to it, the whole thing, because it's like an hour, right? She listened to the whole thing, and she told me that it totally and completely enlightened her about what I do, what the cards do, what the whole thing is about. So particularly if you'd like to maybe enlighten somebody about what tarot is, that seems like it might be a good video to do that. So there's a link in the box below. Give it a go. All right, Scorpio, let's do this. Okay, let's do this. All right, so you open this reading with the two of wands. This is you uh, planning planning for your future to the two of cups. This is you planning to enter into a two of cups relationship to the ace of pentacles. This is you planning to enter into a two, an ace of cups, a two of cups relationship, wanting to create a brand new opportunity. So let's just rearrange these. This is you planning for your future getting ready to, to, um, manifest an opportunity, a brand new opportunity in your life in a two of cups relationship. Now this could be just saying till we get through the rest of the reading here. Okay. This could be business with the pentacles and partnership with the two of cups, or it could be a prosperous new opportunity all the way around in a love relationship. Okay. It can go anyway. All right. So we have you planning for your future, preparing, doing exploration and discovery about presenting an Ace of Pentacles opportunity in a Two of Cups situation. Temperance comes in and says that you're sitting on it for a minute though. Sitting on it for a minute. Temperance is clarified with the star card, hope, faith, purpose, and renewal. Okay, so temperance comes in and says you're sitting on taking any action in presenting or accepting this two of cups offer. Okay, the ten of wands, the ten of wands comes in and says that this there, there is a burden and a struggle here for you. There is a burden and a struggle in your feelings. So there's a burden and a struggle in your feelings about either pursuing or presenting an opportunity to create a new beginning with somebody in a two of cups relationship. Temperance comes in and you're sitting on it though, because it's a real struggle in your feelings. You're struggling in your feelings about this situation. The star is the, the, the crowning card of this whole row. The star talks about hope, faith, purpose, and renewal in this situation. renewal to the three of swords in reverse. Now this is why you're struggling in your feels, right? This is why you're struggling in your feels because there was pain, sorrow, gar Garth, 
<laughs> Garth Brooks, pain, sorrow, Garth Brooks, you know, pain, sorrow, grief, rejection, um, heartbreak associated with this. That's why the star card talks about renewal, right? You don't have to renew something that you've never experienced before, right? So apparently there has been some kind of heartbreak in this situation in the past. And as much as you'd like to move forward and manifest a brand new opportunity in a two of cups relationship with a renewal temperance says that you're just sitting on it for a minute because you're struggling with your feelings about the situation your feelings about the situation are the heartbreak right well this three of swords is clarified by the high priestess this high priestess tells me that you have sat down with yourself you've sat down with your higher power you have sat down with your intuition and your subconscious mind and you have really dug deep to figure this out within yourself to figure it out within yourself and what you figured out in yourself is that you want to take action you want to to communicate action action oriented communication about a turning point in this relationship renewal with the star card manifestation with the ace of pentacles you want a renewal in this situation and justice comes in and says I'll be damned you got it Page of Pentacles says you're manifesting a brand new opportunity. King of Swords, in the center of your reading, this whole entire reading revolves around this King of Swords right here. This King of Swords is you, Scorpio, taking on, you are the King of Swords right here. You are taking on the energy of the King of Swords, 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 taking on the energy of the King of Swords because you um you've had it you've come to a conclusion that damn it you're going to do what you're going to do and you want what you want and that's just the way that it is i am throwing it down and i am taking what i want and i'm going to do what i want and this is my truth and this is what's happening this is that card right it's like boom right here right now throw down that's what this cards about <clears throat> okay decision this whole reading revolves around some kind of decision Scorpio so the king of swords is cl is clarified is followed by the four of cups focus There we go. So the King of Swords, the heartbeat of this entire reading, is followed by the Four of Cups. This Four of Cups is talking about contemplation and reevaluation of everything, which is what you did in the King of Swords energy, right? Contemplation and reevaluation of everything. Getting some absolute mental clarity, absolute mental clarity about what you want to do and where you want to go with this relationship speaking your truth this is the Queen of Swords implementing your truth what's your truth is that you want to manifest a brand new opportunity with someone that it didn't work out the first time or it never got to go it never got a start or it didn't work out The Seven of Swords in reverse is about breaking free. It's about having mental challenges and breaking free from them. You are breaking free from those mental challenges. And that Seven of Swords is clarified by these. The Queen of Pentacles breaking free from those mental challenges and, and 
maybe the mental challenges of a queen of pentacles, an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, could be somebody that embodies the energy of a queen of pentacles, could be just somebody that they see as the queen of pentacles. She's wifey material, right? Wifey material. She can rock your, she can rock your business. She can rock your house and she can rock your bedroom all the way around, right? She is the bomb.com, right? So she, you Scorpio see this person as this queen of pentacles and you want to break free from the mental challenges that are associated with that queen of pentacles and you want to move forward with victory progress and success to the ten of wands you want an accomplishment to the struggle you're tired of struggling about this you've struggled about this for a long time and you're tired tired of struggling with it tired of carrying the burden and you're going to sprint up those steps and you're going to drop that load and you're going to get accomplishment for the uh the long journey that you've been on with this whole queen of pentacles king of pentacles empress thing that's been going on in your readings forever and take a brand new freaking beginning and a brand new freaking journey right on it's what you want to do it's exactly what you want to do and you are adamant about it you are adamant about it. You don't care who has something to say about it. You don't care nothing. This is what you want. You want to manifest a brand new beginning in a love relationship with somebody that you struggle with your feelings about because there was heartbreak and pain in the past. But the star card says that you want to renew the relationship. The High Priestess says that you've worked it out. The Prince of Swords says that you're going to take some action or give some action-orientated communication about the Wheel card, about a, um, a turning point in this relationship, a turning point in your life. Because there was a tower, the tower moment, the, an epiphany, a revelation, an awakening that created the energy of the King of Swords for you. This turned you into the king of swords like the hulk you know this turned you into the king of swords right this tower moment you've just had an absolute revelation about what it is that you want and you want to manifest a brand new beginning in a two of cups relationship you would like to renew something that either never got off the ground or that didn't work out for some reason this is justice plain and simple Page of Pentacles, you are manifesting, manifesting like a motherfucker, okay? Manifesting as the King of Swords, right? As the King of Swords, you are implementing this decision in your life. Four of Cups says, at, because after much contemplation and reevaluation, you've come to a sharp sense of mental clarity, followed through with the king with the queen of wands to execute this decision to the ace of pentacles to manifest a brand new beginning seven of swords says that you're breaking free of the mental challenges the queen of pentacles comes in and says the mental challenges of this queen of pentacles this wifey material that you see right here to the six of wands you want public recognition being a title uh, victory, progress, success in the situation. Ten of Wands says that you're going to sprint up those stairs, you're going to drop those Ten Wands, and you're going to be free from this burden with a sense of accomplishment at the end. And the Fool card says you're going to go on a brand new beginning, go on a brand new journey, and have a brand new beginning. Knight of Cups, you are going to be somebody's metaphorical knight in shining armor or metaphorical wishes fulfilled princess in shining armor or whatever princesses wear, right? So you're going to be, you want, you want to give your cup of love and it's clarified by the world card. You not only want to give your cup of love, but you want to close out the old cycle and start a brand new cycle with this person. The Hermit comes in and says that you've done a lot of soul searching and introspection to the Ace of Cups about how you feel about all of this. Overwhelming emotion, right? Had to kind of digest it, choke it down a little bit in the Hermit mode and get a handle on it, right? To the Sun card, because this is what you want, Scorpio. This is what you want. This is what you want, right? This King of Swords in the center of your reading, this is what you want. Happiness, success, vitality. 
warmth, positivity, a good life with somebody that you got a lot of feels for. <clears throat> Two of Swords. Let's see. Two of Swords is about choices, okay? Choices. Choices that need strength. Two of Swords followed by strength. Choices that need strength. What these choices are is that the choices are talking about the King of Cups. Your feelings, right? Your feelings followed by the hangman in reverse. So it's your feelings and stalling, right? Stalling to the um, Eight of Wands. Speed, change, movement, action, travel. So what the decision is that you're making with this little Two of Swords right here that has needed some strength from the beginning of this reading is the fact that you're, you are stalling your feels and you need to take action. That's what these three cards say, is that you're stalling your feels and there needs to be action in the situation or you are taking action in the situation. What is this action? What is this action you speak of, Spirit? What is this action? What is this action right here? What is this? Please, Spirit, for Scorpio. What is this action? What is the Eight of Wands? What is the Eight of Wands? What is the action? What are you going to do? What's Scorpio going to do? <laughs> Get married? No. <laughs> it is the card of marriage, though, the Four of Wands. Um, yeah, you are going to actively create structure, stability, and foundation in this relationship. And um, I don't know, you know, maybe you do see them as marriage material. Maybe, maybe marriage is on your mind. But nevertheless, um, you're going to come together in harmony, stability, and you're going to create some structure in this relationship. And that's freaking beautiful, Scorp. That's a beautiful reading. That is a beautiful reading. Now, look what I got. What time are we at? 17, 20, uh, we have some time. So I got these cool oracle cards the other day. I'm not much of an oracle card person. I've tried all the angels and the animals and the Dorian virtue and all that stuff. And it's just not me. I just, it's just not me. So I don't really have them. But... I found the Magdalene Oracle, and um, long story, but I have an affinity for Mary Magdalene in the Christian Bible, and um, I identified with these when I saw them. So I picked them up, and I really do like them. So I am going to pull an Oracle card for you. So Spirit, what are some parting words for Scorpio right here? Huh? What are some parting words for, they're, they're huge. What are some parting words for Scorpio? What are your what are some parting words? You have advice, some wisdom. What are the parting words for Scorpio here? Surrender. Let's see what surrender is about. My goodness, did Taurus get that? Let me read it. No, Taurus didn't get that one. Acceptance is what Taurus got. Um surrender, surrender, surrender. A B C D E F G. H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V. Right, surrender. <clears throat> at present, it seems that the harder you try, the more. At present, it seems that the harder you try, the more the things you want elude you. There's not much you can do at the moment except wait. Surrender your expectations and be patient. In time you will get to what you want, though this may not come in the form or the way you expected. In the meantime, remember that you cannot control how others view things or what they think, think say, or do. In time you will come to realize that the current events are a blessing. You will emerge from this period of your life with a newfound sense of clarity, which will enable you to move forward in life with confidence. The emotional ups and downs you are currently experiencing will soon stabilize. There you go, Scorps. That's for you. That's so sweet. Aww. 
All right, Scorpio, that is your reading August the next two weeks-ish, right? Whenever it tickles to whenever it stops tickling is when this reading resonates, okay? So there you go. I hope you enjoyed it. DeepThoughtsWithDana.com. If you want a personal reading with me, check out the video link that I put below too. And namaste.